Blaze Zabini was at least a half-blood wizard who attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He was sorted into Slytherin House and was on friendly terms with fellow Slytherins Draco Malfoy, Vincent Crabbe and Gregory Goyle. He neither supported or opposed the Death Eaters and simply only cared about his own well-being. This is the life of Blaze Zabini. Hello everyone, I'd just like to make two short announcements before this video begins and the first of which is that this month's Patreon only exclusive video will be uploaded for those of you who donate to my Patreon page and that video will be up this week. The link to that page is in the description below so make sure to check it out. The minimal donation is just $1 a month and you get access to never before seen footage. Secondly, as I've mentioned in my posts on the Harry Potter Folklore Community page, my huge and amazing Harry Potter competition is up and running and to be in with the chance to win a Nimbus 2001 replica, the entire 20th anniversary book collection and tickets to the cursed child, that is just for first place, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. Followed by that, there are 5 sets of the 20th anniversary edition collection for 5 lucky runners up. But I am not done there, another 10 people will be pulled out of the hat at random to win a wand of their choice. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, at instadeanj, or just be a Patreon. The link to my Instagram is also in the description below, so make sure to follow me and you'll be entered in the competition. So thanks again everyone and I hope you enjoyed today's video on the life of Blaze Zabini. Blaze was born in 1979. His exact birth date is unknown. He was the son of a famously beautiful witch who had been widowed seven times over by 1996. Each husband's death occurred both under suspicious circumstances and left the already Miss Sabini and her son with even more money. It's speculated by some that Miss Sabini herself was somehow involved with each of her seven former husband's deaths, but it remains unproven. Blaze was incredibly vain and did not befriend muggles or muggle-borns, considering their kind beneath him. He always had the best of everything growing up, the best toys, clothes and many other materialistic things, further fueling his vanity and his ego. In 1991, Blaze started his education at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and unsurprisingly was sorted into Slytherin House. Despite his vanity, he still had a very reserved nature and kept to himself most of the time. He made some friends with other Slytherins, but made none with any other students in his year, though this may have been because he was prejudiced against Muggleborns and blood traitors. Blaze seemed to get along with Draco Malfoy, Vincent Crabbe, Gregory Goyle and Pansy Parkinson. He was able to sit with them on the train journey to Hogwarts, but other than that, he was not mentioned to be hanging around the group that much. Draco himself liked to keep a closed circle and it may have been the case that over time he eventually considered Blaze a welcomed addition to his group as the years went on. Although whether Blaze was included himself probably wouldn't have bothered him personally. Blaze's first five years at Hogwarts were largely uneventful. Although he achieved good marks in the majority of his classes and relatively just kept to himself. He never involved himself in the Slytherin bully circle but didn't exactly distance himself either. This type of behaviour leads me to believe that Blaze had a survivalist type of personality, never choosing a side unless he was certain to be on the right one and whether or not it truly mattered too. Blaze was a tall dark skinned boy with high cheekbones and long slanting eyes. He was very much obsessive over his appearance, constantly checking himself when the opportunity came. Blaze was one of the students who received an invitation from Professor Horace Slughorn for lunch on the Hogwarts Express journey, which might imply that none of his relatives were Death Eaters as Slughorn simply wanted nothing to do with them. It was the sole reason why Slughorn chose not to invite Theodore Knott to join the Slug Club. Slughorn was sizing up the student body for potential new members of his famous club which he started when he last taught at Hogwarts. During the meeting, Blaze seemed quiet as usual and did not join in the discussions.
However, he did give a little cough of amused skepticism when Slughorn told the group that he thought Harry Potter had powers beyond the ordinary. This caused him to provoke Ginny Weasley to snap at him, and Slughorn jokingly warned Blaze not to annoy Ginny, remembering how well she could cast a bat bogey hex. When questioned on his family, Blaze talked about his mother and the line of husbands she had who had all left her large amounts of galleons in their wills after their suspicious deaths. After the lunch meeting ended, Blaze retired to his compartment on the Hogwarts Express in which Draco Malfoy, Vincent Crabbe, Gregory Goyle and Pansy Parkinson were also sitting. Harry Potter followed Blaze back to his compartment under his invisibility cloak in an attempt to hear Draco's conversation and give him some perspective as to what Draco had been planning over the summer. Once they arrived at Hogwarts, Blaze apparently passed the litmus test that Slughorn had said, as he continued to receive invitations to Slughorn's parties after the school year began. He did not seem to have a high opinion of his fellow members, if his comments to Draco Malfoy on the train were any indication, but in spite of this, he continued to accept the invitations. He also did not appear to have a high opinion of Draco either, as despite the latter's prominence amongst the Slytherins, Blaze did not appreciate how cowardly Draco went about his business, hiding behind his father on numerous occasions and a lack of a backbone during any confrontation without Crabbe and Goyle by his side. Blaze attended his seventh year at Hogwarts. It can be assumed that his time under the Carrow's regime was not as trying as others, as he was a Slytherin and possibly a pureblood, if not half-blood at the very least. When evacuation started moments before the Battle of Hogwarts on May 2nd, 1998, Blaze presumably left with the other Slytherins through the passageway to the Hogshead Inn from the Room of Requirement. Blaze Zabini seems to be a highly arrogant person who looked down on nearly everyone and everything. He rarely expressed his disdainful opinions in a confrontational manner. He reacted with scornful amusement when Professor Slughorn praised Harry Potter's power. Ginny Weasley insulted Blaze's vanity and he reacted with strong contempt. He also insulted most of his fellow Slug Club members and the parties themselves, though he continued to attend the meetings. Blaze was highly prejudiced against Muggles, Muggleborns and those who were accepting of them. This was all made clear when Pansy Parkinson accused him of finding Ginny Weasley attractive. Blaze, in response, said he would never touch a filthy blood traitor like her. However, he did also not seem to hold a high opinion of followers of Voldemort. He taunted Draco Malfoy on his father being outed as a Death Eater. It seemed he was so arrogant that he was more or less indifferent and dismissive of everyone, regardless of their status. An interesting fact about Blaze's character was the name in general being gender neutral. Blaze's gender and nature were hotly debated in fan forums for many years, and both male and female versions of the character were heavily featured in fan fiction. This was mostly due to the indeterminate nature of Blaze's character in canon and lack of further explanation on J.K. Rowling's part until it was revealed in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince that he was actually male. However, the Dutch edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone actually turned Blaze into a female character by translating his name into Bella when he appears at the sorting ceremony. When the Dutch translation of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince was released, the character was renamed to the masculine Benno, correcting this mistake. And with that being said, I'd like to know everyone from you in the comment section below how many of you believed whether Blaze was a boy or a girl up until the release of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I think it'd be an interesting discussion, so let me know in the comment section below. And that is all for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel if it is your first time watching. And if you're a fan of the channel and feel like you'd like to contribute, my restructured Patreon account is up and running. And in exchange for your contribution of a minimum of $1 a month, there are many rewards you can receive, like suggesting one of my upcoming videos, exclusive Patreon only videos for you to watch and even one to one Skype calls where we can hang out and talk everything Harry Potter or anything in general. So please make sure to check out some of my other videos on the left hand side of the screen. My second channel Game of Thrones lore is on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out some merch, I've got a merch store on the bottom right or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks again everyone and I hope you all have a great day.